Ever wondered whether it is even worthwhile to get your house off the grid? Here are your 10 simple steps. Number 1. Understanding when you'd like to have power. This is a very important step, as it sets the groundwork for your basic needs. It involves looking at the times that you're home, during the day. Would you like your home power to run all the time during the day whether the mains power is on or not? Do you mind electrical outages during the day or not? Must the electrical power be on all night? How many people live in the house? What hours are they home? How many lights are on during the day? How many lights are on at night and for how many hours? Now for the second step. Whipping up green power in your kitchen. An evaluation of your kitchen and laundry tools is essential. They often make up the appliances used the most, during the day and during meal times. By looking at each item, and marking what you use, and when you use it, will help you to understand your current power usage. This in turn will help your local solar agent understand how to size the solar panel, inverters, and solar battery banks best, in order to serve your needs. Step 3. Turning sunlight into your hot water needs. The sun is powerful. Its heat can be used in many ways, some of the most common uses being solar panels, and solar geysers which use the sun to heat up your water. These geysers are extremely economical, and reduce your power consumption enormously. They are also commonly fitted out with an electrically heating element, inside them, so that on cold or overcast days, you will still have hot water. Step 4. Switching on that remote. Does your TV remote get switched on every day? In this step you'll need to find out just how many TVs you have in the house, along with any gaming devices, and other digital devices, that you use for entertainment purposes. Let's move on to step 5. But before we get there I just wanted to congratulate you. You have achieved more in-depth analysis about your home than most people do in 10 years of home ownership. If you are struggling with information overload, please go to the end of this article and download the free worksheet that I have created, that will help you to capture all this information, through an easy checklist. Let's continue, by looking at your office hours needs. How much time do you spend working from home, over the weekends, and into the weeknights? Just how often does your computer run? Do you have a printer, an inkjet or laser? What other equipment do you run for your office? Or in your home setup? Step 6. To heat or cool, that is the solar power question. Do you use a heater in the cold winter? How about an air conditioner, in the sweltering hot summer days? These machines use up a lot of power, so it's ideal that you know how many you have, and how often they run. A study done, by the Department of Energy, in the United States, calculated that 6% of all electricity produced, was consumed by air conditioners. Their study shows that it is possible to reduce this consumption by between 20-50%, to 50%, through a few simple steps. If you look at the article below, I have included a link to an interesting infographic from them, that details how to achieve this. But for now, make sure you record all the units you have in your home, and when you run them. Moving on to step 7. Cooling off in your pool and garden. Do you have a heated pool or a swimming pool with a pool pump? Yes, these also need to be considered, when moving to solar. In our experience, many homeowners can save on their energy bill, by simply reducing the hours that their swimming pool pumps run, by installing a timer system. Another interesting way to reduce your energy bill is by installing a small-sized pool pump. Many homeowners are left with a legacy system, that was far too big, for the size of their swimming pool. You may want to consult an engineer about this option, as pool salespeople are more than likely looking for a bigger sale, instead of helping you reduce your energy bill. Don't forget to look for any other outdoor appliances, such as irrigation controllers, or outdoor lights, that you need to add to your list, as well. Moving on to number 8. Security in Solar One of the many advantages of moving on to a solar power system, is that any alarm systems, or CCTV cameras, that you have will stay on, all the time. So rather than getting shut down, when there are power outages, or load shedding, you get to have 24-7 security, giving you maximum protection for your family, and your belongings. Now for step 9. How does your green transport fit in? Have you been considering purchasing an electric car in the near future? Is that something on your dream list? The question is, how are you going to charge it? Quite simply, if you go solar then you need to factor in charging it, from your solar panels that are powering your home. Imagine, a fully charged car, courtesy of the sun. What a win! And finally, step 10, fill in your free resource. 
please simply click on the link below to access your free checklist and worksheet that will help you work through all of these areas. It includes very pointed questions to help you gather the most amount of information quickly. That way, when you call your local solar sales agent to request a quotation, you will be armed with all the information needed to make an effective decision quickly. Wouldn't you love to impress the agent when they arrive with your abundant knowledge on how and when your house works? They will treat you like VIP, knowing that they had best give you the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth when it comes to your solar quotation. There you have it. A simple 10-step process to understanding your home power consumption is one of the most essential first steps to giving you insight into affording solar power for you your home. Let's summarize what was covered in this video. In order to understand how much a solar system for your home will cost, you have started the process by understanding your current power usage. You've covered every area of your home and garden. You also looked at your business and entertainment needs. You will now move on to understanding the types of solar systems that actually exist for homes. If you have successfully filled in your free analysis above, feel free to take the next step in your home solar power system by learning more about which system would suit you best. By simply downloading the free checklist and worksheet below, you have shown us that you are serious about your journey forward. As such, we will be sending you a very special email in the next 24 hours, which will help you on your next step. This email will contain a link to the next video and article in this series, helping you understand the three main types of solar systems that exist and how to understand which type would best suit your needs as a homeowner. But remember, you need to download the checklist in order to access this next article and video. The link can be found below. Go ahead, download the resource and set yourself up for a successful, effective understanding of how solar power will improve your life and give you more spending power in the future. Thank you for watching, and we look forward to seeing you at the next video, armed with a better understanding of your power usage.